Cześć, witajcie, ja się nazywam Regden, a to kolejny 11, 13 już, 13 już odcinek z gry Kingdom Come Deliverance. Nie mogę z nią porozmawiać. Czemu ona wchodzi sobie do... do... Rozmawiamy, rozmawiamy z rządcą. Jeszcze. A dobra, nie mogę. Nie mogę już więcej. Dobra. Em, mam popytać tutaj ludzi, tak? Dobra. Pójdźmy do karczmy. Zróbmy sobie szybką podróż i pójdźmy do karczmy. Mhm. <śmiech> Ładowanie, ładowanie. A przy ładowaniu chciałem w ogóle bardzo podziękować <śmiech> pewnej osobie. Tą osobą jest mój dobry znajomy i przyjaciel Wojtek Odyn Obierski. Polecam tego grafika bardzo. A i teraz tak. Jeżeli by ktoś chciał fajną miniaturkę albo jakąkolwiek grafikę to do niego I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. Damn. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. Kimbu, that man Lubosch who was murdered. What was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. You know, is anything suspicious recently? Come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sins too dark for God's mercy. Czyli musimy iść do księdza. That's all. Thank you. Idemy do księdza w takim razie. Tu jest za Christian. Tak, dzień dobry. Chyba tak. Ojciec Boguta. Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosch? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know, and I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers. There are laws of God above the laws of man, son, and one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. <sighs> Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosch don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. 
Hmm. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told Porażka. you, I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believe the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians. Worse than the murderer escaping punishment. No one escapes punishment. Um. Father Lubosz was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern, over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Good luck to you. Okay. Mogę coś zasnąć? Mogę spać. Aha, okej. No co, prześpię się przynajmniej. Prześpię się przynajmniej i będzie Henry wyspany przynajmniej. Za dużo razy już dzisiaj powiedziałem przynajmniej, prawda? Dwa razy z rzędu teraz. Ale na pewno jeszcze dałem jakoś na początku odcinka. Znaczy na samym początku. Ale czasami po prostu lubię powtarzać daną rzecz, dane słowo. O nie! On na serio czekał? Damy, I'm hungry. On na serio poszedł w takim ubraniu do karczmy? To. Jeny. A, włamywanie. No. Tak, tylko że gdzie jest ten ksiądz teraz? Przepraszam księdza. No. A przynajmniej jest tutaj gdzieś jakiś garnek do, do ten... do... ukradnięcia jedzenia. Ukraść jedzenie sobie. <śmiech> Bo chciałbym tutaj sobie zjeść coś. O, co? Pięciu. How kind of you not to come and disturb my solitude. Uh, trust me, there's nowhere I'd rather have been. You wouldn't believe what happened to me. You've got that right. I wouldn't. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. No, fuck. What is it? Um, you live here? Of course. I mean here, in the presbytery. Yeah, right here. In the presbytery? With the parish priest? Yes. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Uh, yes, of course I like you. So why are you surprised Godwin likes me too? I'm not. I mean, I see. I think. Take care. Hmm. O Jezus, ganka. Trochę zniszczyliśmy. Nie, nie mogę teraz. Bym sobie wczytał wcześniejszą. Aha. Czyli co? Co jest nie tak? Czy 
chyba coś zniszczyłem. Czytajmy te tajemnicze drogi. Bo w ogóle mi się nie pokazywał ten. Nie. Nie uciecz, że to jest... O je, nie, dobra. To jest ostatni zapis. Co mam zrobić tutaj? O, Małe cięcie. Dobra, bo po krótkim cięciu jestem tutaj w karczmie. To jakiś lumir mi się. Więc popytajmy. I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know anything about it, but ask all you want. Do you know what Lubosz was doing the day Neuhof was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow. Tak, no to już było. Nie zapaliłeś podejrzanego? Dobra. I teraz musimy pójść do tego księdza. Myślałem, że ten Lumir mi coś powie, powie coś więcej. Ale powie, ale dał mi namiary na tego księdza, bo inaczej nie mógłbym wejść tam, bo było włamanie. A tak to teraz mam normalnie otwórz. Muszę dobrze poprowadzić z nim tą rozmowę. Z tym księdzem. Rozmawiaj. Um, o. Father, didn't I see you outside practicing swordplay? I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick, I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. No, but tak, to już było. Wish, Did you know Lubosz? Um, you know what Lubosz? Unfortunately, what? I'm bound by certain vows. More important, there are law. Did you notice my? Ch That's really. I'm sorry to hear. Father, sure. There are things that. Hmm. Wyższy stopniem nie będzie, nie będę. Ale nie chcę. But Lubosz is dead. You, if I told you, if people be... worse than the death, no one is. Father, if I don't find, I wouldn't. Suppose we. All right. May the Lord watch over you. No dobra, no i teraz muszę pójść za nim. Mm, ta, nie chciałem siłą. Nie chciałem siłą go zmusić. Mapa. No spoko, ja czekam na księdza. Mek, mek. I teraz tak się, ja czekam na niego. A dobra, gdzie? No fa fajnie, fajnie. Dobra. Paj siadamy, chłopie. A, wchodzimy do. No dobra. Sobie wypiję to może. Rozmawiaj. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Jestem z Kalicy. 
Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? Dead Dead. Dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. It, we had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. The day. He did, still. but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now mm -hmm. the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> the rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Um, musiałem zamknąć okno, bo tam zaczę zaczęły jakieś kury gdakać. Mój sąsiad ma kury, więc spoko. Um, I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Um, I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. 
I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hoos about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hoos character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I yeah, drink yeah. with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Dobra. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Picie wzrosło. No, no, spoko. Osiągnęłeś nowy poziom w gdzie? Nie kaczenka. Ciekawe ile za to zapłacę, ja nie chcę płacić. Halo. Enough of this. Bailiff, come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped, and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Tires. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. No, nie mam. Nie chcę się bić. You'll get what for. Nie odsuwaj się. No, dobra, będę się bił. Ja tu jestem lepszy w wybiciu się, no chodź. O ty, ty, ty. Ten mnie tu zaatakował jakiś. No kurde. Zaatakował mnie z nienacka, aj co, aj co. Ha! 
Tu jest, tu jest. Tu jest ten co. Ja żam z nie chcę być. O nie, będzie ty. O nie. Jezus. I'd love to. And Henry too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dear. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're a fool. Oh, yeah, Romeo. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. Bend on Quapote. This is wonderful. <laughs> Ah, bloody out. Hey, bad luck, And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. Powiedz Lubosza. God, when you old goat. Come here. So. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Będę się fajnie bawił przy cenzurze. Yay! Cenzura, cenzura. Jezus, co ja robię? Co, co ja tu robię? What the fuck? Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Ale będę kupować za to, że pobiłem rządcę. Na pewno. Będę kupować. Ale może mi powie wreszcie. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, oh, Stefan, in my head. Mm, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Pewnie stoją tam i wrzeszczą. Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. 
What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> what the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. Thanks, you have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose a Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're stark raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Luboš's cronies are. Okay, wiedziałem, że to pomoże. Wiedziałem, że to pomoże. I jednak dobrze. So all at once the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Well, okay. <coughs> I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Uh -huh. Ale co tak w tym? Nie no, ja się muszę przebrać, panowie. Zbroja, bo te szlachcica. Kaptur kolczy. I teraz tak. Nie, tutaj. O. Mm -mm. Którą przeżywodnicę ja miałem? To na pewno miałem, to miałem. Miałem te, nie miałem, było pikowane. 97, ale to te miałem, a to na to jeszcze miałem, dobra. Miałem lekką przeżywanicę, tak. To pewnie jeszcze to kirys nie, kolczuga nie miałem, rękawice miałem. Tutaj są. O, czy to wszystko? Ze zbroi chyba tak, dobra. Nie potrzebuję. Nie mogę przyspieszyć. Tak. Siema, no. Ale to zrobimy. Nie, fuck. Dobra. I thought he'd never show up. It was a swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. <laughs> Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now he'll throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem in Sanctas 
at venerabiles amanus suas. Onde tens chegado? O nie. Vino. In meam commemoratio. Oh no. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University <laughs> preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. <laughs> Oczywiście, że ksiądz. On nie będzie teraz. O nie! O kurde! To już zrobimy sobie już w następnym odcinku. Dzięki za dzisiaj i do usłyszenia. Cześć!